Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days, Season 4, Episode 8, A Stranger in a Strange Land. Okay, things get strange on this episode. Let's jump right into it, okay? First, we have Lisa and Usman. We know that Lisa and Usman are headed on their way to go see his mama. And we already know that Usman's mama is not here for Lisa, okay? She thinks that Lisa's going to take him and basically make him a slave, okay? And she, and she ain't with it. And I'm like, well, I mean, these are quite, these are questions that I need to get answered, okay? So I can understand where the mama coming from, okay? So um, they head to the mama's house to get her blessing and whatnot. But first, Lisa must purchase a goat because it is a sign of respect, especially if you're asking for marriage to bring like a gift or something and so um husband is like you need to bring a goat so they go to the market to pick up a goat and of course lisa is acting up okay um lisa and uh ed in this episode just acted up like you're in you're in if you if you say you like this person you want to be with this person and you're in their home country why are you acting like this why are you acting like everything is so beneath you okay like it, it got on my nerves. I was like, but what what can we expect, okay? Like, I was like, well. But anyway, so she got into the, the market and was just like, oh my gosh, there's uh, crap everywhere. Oh my gosh, oh my god. I was like, girl, okay. So, um, so they find a goat and the man is like, look, it's going to be about 115 American dollars, okay? Uh, someone had like translated for her how much American dollars is going to be in, you know? And she was like, I feel like he is uh, hiking the price up because I'm white. And I was like, girl, first of all, $100 for a goat, it seems like not that much amount of money. And it seems like she was being cheap. But anyways, I was like, okay. So um, Usman was like, girl, he ain't, you know, that's the regular price, pay it. So he, get, he goes into a purse and he's like, look, here's the money, okay? So they get the goat and they bring in the goat to mama's house, okay? And so the next episode, we see us men dressing her up in like some like local, um, a locally crafted dress or whatever. It's a really pretty dress. And he puts a scarf on her head and whatnot. Um, and he dresses up as well. And they go to mama's house with the goat, okay? So they get to mama's house, all right? <laughs> So they get to mama's house and first of all Usman tells us like look they think Lisa is just visiting they don't know that like we are engaged and whatnot and I was like oh okay Usman you really you really want your mama to cut up this episode okay but anyway so they get to mama's house and it's like mama and her oldest daughter Usman's um, oldest sister and um, his like brother in law his brother's um, wife and then it's like younger sister, okay? So they're all there. They're the women who need to approve of this whole situation for it to go down, okay? So <laughs> they come out the house and they see Lisa and they're like, who is this old woman, okay? <laughs> we get a one-on-one -on -one with the with the mama and the sister and they're like, who is this 50-year-old woman with um, Osman? I know they're not together, okay? And I was like, girl, yes, they are, girl. But anyway... So they sit down and Usman like introduces his whole family to Lisa and they're like, you know, he he's like, Mama, meet Lisa. And Mama's like What? What? <laughs> okay. I said, like, okay, Mama. So he says, like, you know, Lisa brought y'all a goat. Look the goat. And Mama's like, Thanks. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Mama was not here for any of this. Okay. So then, um, us men hesitant, just is really hesitant. And he brings up that Lisa's not visiting. Okay. She came down here because she's in love with me and she wants to marry me and take me to America. Okay. <laughs> oh, before that even happened, the oldest sister like tries to like have a little conversation with Lisa and it's like, Hey, what do you do in America? And she says she works in hospice, and us friends translate that to her being a doctor. And they're like, oh, she's a doctor. Okay. And I was like, okay. It's a little translation error, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So like I said, Usman brings up, brings up the fact that, you know, Lisa is in love with him and wants to take him to America. And the oldest sister was like, Usman, you go, Usman, 
Are you serious with this? You really going to come to our face with this foolishness, okay? She said no, and then mama shakes her head no, and they just walk up and, and leave. And Usman tells us, like, this is the highest form of disrespect for them just to, like, get up. And, and he didn't have to say that. I was like, oh, we, we know that's the highest form of disrespect, just getting up and leave. You just, I can't even, I can't even have you in my face no more because I'm just so angry. That's how they got up and left. Just like, oh, my gosh, you really gonna come with this foolishness, okay? <laughs> so, so they got up and left. They went into the house. Usman is like, look, like, um, mama and older sister said it's a no, so it's a no. All right, so let's hurry up and leave before they come back. Okay, so, so they leave, and that's just what it is. You know, that's just what it is for this episode. So we don't know what Lisa gonna do. Lisa says that she is so scared to go back to America single, but girl, I don't. You know, I'm just worried about. I'm, I don't even care about Lisa. Obviously, I'm just worried about Soldier Boy getting his hit record and doing what he has to do to be successful so I'm um, definitely team soldier boy and now I'm definitely team mama and the whole family so that's just what it is <laughs> next we get to Varya and Jeffrey so they are still in Siberia visiting Varya's uh, mom and you know we saw last episode that mama was not really here for Jeffrey taking her baby girl to America you, you know she lives in Russia now which is a couple hours from her mama but this would be like a whole very very far distance you know so she wasn't here for it so they spent the night at her mama's house and the, the next um this morning she's gonna like show him around siberia and whatnot in her hometown so <laughs> jeffrey is worried because he knows he has to tell this girl about his um past okay we know about his past but he has to tell her about his past so she takes him to like where she went to school and they sit down and she's like reminiscing and whatnot. And he's like, yeah, um, I gotta tell you something, okay? She's like, what? So he's like, look, um, I was locked up. I was locked up for dealing, okay? Dealing. Y'all know what he was dealing, okay? And so Varia's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And she like makes a, a symbol or something. And I was like, what, is that? what does that mean, okay? I don't know if it was like a locked up symbol or what, but... She wanted to make sure she understood exactly like what he was talking about. So she's like, wow, that is crazy. I can't believe that. I can't believe you were helping people to be sick, you know, and whatnot. And she was given a story about one of her family members who um, died because of it. So, yeah, Virus like, look, we might have to take like a step back because like this is a lot for me. Like, I need to process this. And I'm, I'm always Varya, like. Jeffrey acted like he was just so perfect and everything and being mad at Varya from these past episodes and now the tables have turned and Jeffrey's in the hot seat so yeah we gonna see next episode he has to like tell mama <laughs> about his past and I'm waiting for that okay so that was pretty much all of Varya and Jeffrey then we get to Ed and Rose Ed is um at Rose's house in the Philippines he is complaining because it is raining and he, and Rose is like, look, it rains a lot here. Like, it's going to rain. You know, it leaks a little bit in here and it's fine, okay? But Ed, of course, he is acting so sedity and bougie and really so disrespectful and rude about, you know, where they live at and how they live. Like, it's, it's really disgusting. But, so, um, he's going to share a room with Rose and Ed was under the impression that Dad was also going to share the room with them that night. But Daddy was really just going to share the the next... He was going to to spend the night in the next room so he could like keep an eye on Ed and Rose. Because, you know, that's the baby girl. So, he of course, is worried. So, um, so they they prepare for the night. And Ed said he had shipped some, shipped some uh, sheets because he says he can only lay down in a thousand thread count. But the sheets didn't make it in time, so he's just gonna have to do. He's just gonna have to use her sheets, and of course he is worried because he's like, "Look, I have a skin problem, and I don't know if this is gonna work." Okay, so they lay down, and he's complaining about the bed situation and complaining about how, you know, the whole situation. I'm just like, "Oh my gosh!" It was it was hard to listen to the whole time, but anyway, they lay down and they get ready for bed. Rose is like, "You you good? Are you okay?" And he's like, "I guess I'm okay." And all of a sudden the lights go out. 
And he starts freaking out because, of course, the fan is out and he gets hot really fast. So Rose is like, look, I'm right here. The lights go out sometimes. It is what it is. It's raining. Can you just relax? Okay. So they, that was it for the night. So the next scene, they wake up and Ed says that it was so uncomfortable and he had such, he was so miserable and he could barely sleep and the bed was wet and whatnot. And I was like... You should have stayed at home and left this girl alone if you're going to do all of this and act like this is such a, a big ordeal. But anyway, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I want to stop complaining <laughs> about him complaining, okay? But anyway, so he says it was so uncomfortable and he, would, he wants to get a hotel because he can't sleep like that anymore. So Rose is like, okay, wow, that's crazy. Like, I wanted to stay here. I wanted you to spend some time with my son and get to know my son. If we're going to get married, like, I want I want us to all get adjusted together. Like, get, get, I want you to get to know my son so I can see how you're going to act when, we, when we're married and whatnot. So, but he's like, look, I can't stay like this. Like, please come with me to the hotel. And she's like, okay. So she agrees to go to the hotel. But first, um, they have to take a shower. So Ed and her dad both take a shower. It's like a little um, bucket of water, like a, a barrel of water. And they just take like a cup and they wash themselves off with it. And of course, Ed is complaining about this. And Rose says this is like typical. She's like, yeah, we, we bathe together. It's not, a big, it's not a big deal. Like We get a bar of soap, you know, and they have like underwear and stuff on. So it's not crazy. But they like just wash themselves and whatnot. So... Ed, of course, is acting up the whole the whole shower situation. Um, he sees, like, a mouse on the ground. And he's like, oh, my gosh, she's scared of the mouse. <sighs> Just aggravating. Um, so that was over. And then the next scene, he's still... Um, we see he's going to the pig farm where her dad works. Ed is worried because he wants to ask her dad if it's okay if he takes Rose like on a little vacation to like the hotel and whatnot because he wants to be respectful now he wants to be respectful but anyway so they make it to the pig farm and the pig farm is muddy and whatnot and this is where he this is where dad works and he sleeps okay and where he where he lives he lives at the pig farm so Ed gets in there and he, all he has is sneakers on okay dad has his work boots and he's fine and Rose isn't getting too far into like the little pig pen section but Ed gets closer and his sneakers are all messed up. He puts like a bag over his sneakers so he can like walk around. And he's like slipping and sliding in the in the bag. And I was like, this is a mess. So he like throws water and food and stuff all on the pigs. I was like, wow. So dad is like, can y'all just go, okay? <laughs> he didn't say that, but I knew he wasn't like, this is a mess, okay? So... Uh, Ed tells Rose to like translate this for him that he wants to know if it's okay if he can take Rose to go to the hotel or whatever. And Rose's dad is like, okay, take her to the hotel. Just be careful and take care of my girl, okay? And he's like, all right. So, yeah. So they, so they leave and that was pretty much it for Ed and Rose, okay? Then we get to Stephanie and Erica. I... I'm sorry to tell y'all, I still don't find Stephanie and Erica um, interesting or that, like, believable. Like I said, I know most of these probably <laughs> have, like, a lot of uh, made-up storylines going on. But Stephanie and Erica's is, like, so, uh, like, blatant in your face that it's, like... Stephanie, first of all, she needs to stop trying to cry because the tears just don't come out, okay? I was like, girl, you really trying to cry? Ain't no tear coming down or whatever. But anyway. So anyways, that's how I feel about them. So it's going to be a short and brief recap for them. So um, we saw last episode that they had dinner and they fought. Okay, because Erica said Stephanie was being controlling, trying to like check her about a dating app on her phone. So this episode opens up, they had made up, and now they're going to go to Erica's hometown to like meet her friends and her parents and whatnot. So they had, so before they head over there, Stephanie's on the phone, I mean uh, Erica's on the phone with her friend and she's like, girl, she was acting up last night, okay? She was really, uh, Stephanie was acting crazy last night, she was acting controlling, and I really have to spend four hours in the car with this girl, so like pray for me, okay? And her friend was like, girl, be careful. So they get into the car and uh, 
Stephanie does not want to talk about what happened previous night. She's like, look, I don't want to talk about it right now. We're in the car. Like, we'll talk about it later. So, um, Eric was like, look, we should talk about it. And you're controlling. And I don't like that. Okay, that's pretty much what she said. So, they make it to the hometown. And they're going to meet up with one of her friends first. And, um, yeah. Her friend is like, look. <laughs> throughout the conversation, friend drops a bomb that, like, look. Erica and all her friends done like got together so that's just what it is okay and, and that makes Stephanie even more jealous and paranoid and whatnot so the next <laughs> the next scene they make it back to their apartment where they're staying at in Erica's hometown and they get into another fight they're like you know this is so awkward and I don't know and Erica's whole thing is that she doesn't know why Stephanie is not being intimate with her and then Stephanie's whole thing is that I I don't know I I don't know what I like it's too much drama for me like I'm trying to make sense of it in my head but it's it's aggravating me okay <laughs> so, <laughs> they fighting for no reason okay and they're crying for no reason and Erica leaves so that was pretty much it for their storyline y'all that's 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 all I could could muster up <laughs> of interest all right. <sighs> Another person I'm not that interested in, okay, David. David said he's going to stalk this woman, okay. <laughs> he's not giving up on Lana. He heads to her hometown, which is seven hours away from where he is. Um, uh, 300 miles into the, the road trip, he catches a flat. That doesn't deter him, okay. A flat is not going to deter this man from stalking this woman, okay. So he makes it to her hometown, then he sees like a candy shop and he's like, Lana went to a candy shop one time, let me go in there and ask if they've seen her, okay? <laughs> so that's exactly what this man does, he goes into the candy shop and he's like, uh, he does, he uses like a translator app and he's like, have you seen this woman? And the lady's like, no, please leave, please leave right now, okay? <laughs> so he leaves and in the next scene, um, we see that Lana messages him, okay, and she's like, look, um, I need you, I need to, like, get some, like, photos of us together because I need to, like, apply for my K-1 and they need proof that our relationship is real. So just, like, crop me and you together in a photo because I'm never going to, like, try to meet up with you. <laughs> she didn't say that, y'all, but, like, that's pretty much this whole storyline, okay, so... Next, epi next episode, it seems like he's going to try to meet up with her again, but I'm, my, my hopes aren't anywhere that they're ever going to meet this season. So anyway, then we get to Ash and Avery, okay? They are still like on their little vacation together, like a long time together. Um, he takes her to go like crocodile, on a crocodile cruise where they see crocodiles and I'm like, girl, uh-uh. Okay, I'm from Louisiana, so like we got alligators and stuff and like... I've been on like swamp tours and boat tours and everything and I mean it's nice but not really because you always have the threat like that's the whole alligator right there that's the whole crocodile right there okay like it's cool for five minutes and then you want to leave all right <laughs> so I was like that does not look fun okay so um once I once they're done with that Avery's still like look I'm worried about this whole situation with your baby mama okay and um like I'm just not, I'm not sold on the fact that your baby mama is okay with us just taking her son to America full time, okay? And he's like, look, I'm still working on it. And I'm like, Ash, what are you working on? Are you working on the fact that you haven't talked to her about this at all? Or are you working on the fact that, like, you're, um, on the fact that uh, Avery can, like, talk to your baby mama? Like, are you, like, making sure that it's okay if she can come and talk to her? Like, what what are you working on? I really don't understand what... <laughs> Ash is, a, like, he don't know what's going on. He, I, he has, like, a lot of secrets or, like, a lot of stuff that he is just not telling us. And, yeah, so I'm just waiting for that to come out because their storyline right now is, like... We're just waiting for stuff to happen, and it's like, there's a lot of stuff that we just don't know. But anyways, so that was this, this so that was them this episode. Then we get to Darcy and Tom, okay? We saw last episode, Tom was being extremely rude to Darcy. So this episode, he feels really bad about how he talked about her. 
And so he calls his sister Emma, okay? We know Emma from the start has said that, look, this relationship isn't going anywhere. Y'all are two, two totally different people, okay? She's like, I know my brother. And he be having, like, a main one and, like, a side one and, like, another side one. So, like, don't get your hopes up, Darcy, okay? She tried to warn Darcy. But anyway, so he talks to Emma and he's like, look, like, we had a, we had a fight. And Emma's like, did you let her, like, leave and, like, walk away without, like, trying to stop her? And he's like, yup okay Emma's like look I've been told you like that she's not right for you and you're not right for her okay so get off my phone okay <laughs> but anyway he's like look I want to apologize and we're all like you just want you just want camera time stop it you don't want to apologize you want camera time but anyway so then we cut to Darcy Darcy's in the hotel crying she said she doesn't want to be alone and whatnot and i'm like girl stop picking these terrible people in okay like but anyway she blocks him from whatsapp and so she says that is that so that's pretty much all this episode was you guys it was not that much uh let me know what you thought of it in the comments below i hope y'all are doing okay so far um i love you guys and i will see you guys in the next one bye